In addition to the crazy time of the pandemic and everything else that's going on around the world that seems to be topsy-turvy, we're in the process of moving to a new apartment just three blocks down the street. So all my whiskey is in boxes, except I kept a bottle or two out just so I could get one more episode in with my uh, old apartment's backdrop. And, uh, and um, this is, this is not, I finished this one last night. I have another one, so I'll get that and let's do this. Kevin and today we're going to do our moving day special episode where I have one bottle of whiskey I had to I kind of finished this off during the boxing process so Elijah Craig uh, I've had that in another one anyway the barrel proof um, which is a great B519 is a great uh, a batch if you want to try it out today we're going to do a Westland American single malt whiskey called Gariana which is their native oak series, and they use Gary Oak for it. It's, uh, this is a 2018, the 3-1 three, uh, three edition. It's a uh, very limited release, 56% alcohol by volume, 112 proof, and uh, non-chill filtered, uh, no coloring added. Really nice. Their distillery, uh, Westland Distillery, is in Washington State, and um, they take their their local resources very seriously. And when they started this series of bottlings, uh, the Gary Oak was the, was an experiment. They don't have a ton of it. It's not like American Oak, White Oak, uh, where they use for bourbon casks. This is a much more limited resource. And they have to be very careful about how many casks they can make. So it's challenging, but they, they're, they're, we're, they're out to make a more Scotch-like whiskey um, using American resources and American products, the native resources of the American Northwest. So the age on this is uh, matured for a minimum of three years. On their website, I'm going to cheat and look at my notes because I did very little prep because I'm boxing things up for a move. Uh, the release date on this was September 6, 2018, and this was 51 months in the cast for maturation. Um, a Belgian brewer's yeast. Now, you don't hear much about the yeast when you're talking about Scotch whiskeys. They don't care. They have a they have a wheat yeast that works, and that's all that matters. You'll hear it more with uh, American whiskeys, and uh, especially with the with the newer, um, more experimental uh, distilleries out there, because the yeast affects beer. So why not try some different? Um, flavors or behaviors in the maturation process of whiskey. Um, only 1,638 bottles. And um, it was, uh, like I said in the beginning, this is a Gary Oak, which is a very unique wood to the Northwest uh, US. And they also say a first fill ex bourbon, first fill ex port, and a refill ex Westland. So, it's gone through some bottles, uh, it's gone through some casks. It is a bottle. It's gone through some casks and um, should have some interesting flavors. Now, I'm a big fan of Westland. They've done some very nice uh, whiskeys, American whiskeys. They have a peated American whiskey. They have a sherry, oak, a sherry finish American whiskey. Uh, they have just their standard American oak uh, whiskey. Really great new distillery doing some fantastic things and um, winning some awards for it. Let's go ahead and get into it and see what this is like. 
Now, this is not my normal tasting glass. You see, this is a, uh, a very nice tumbler that uh, a friend of mine, Joe, got me. Got me a couple of them, actually. And I love them for just hanging out and uh, enjoying a whiskey at night. Um, I do miss the tasting notes from a Norlin glass or a Glencairn glass because this allows too much of the vapors to escape in a, in a big opening. But it's just a comfortable glass to, to hold on to. And it says, uh, that's what I do. I drink and I know things, which I drink. I don't know how much I know, but I appreciate the, uh, the sentiment, Joe. Thank you. So on the nose, um, this is honey, a little bit of oak, maybe a little floral uh, note to the nose, maybe some other fruits in there and spices. That's 56%, and that gives it that little bit of a, of a bite. Definitely can tell the, uh, the proof is higher on this. Interesting enough, on the palate, it's, it's got some hints of, of, a, of a rye whiskey for me, and maybe that's the, the Gary Oak. There was some sweetness in there, especially after that first taste where you're getting a lot of that alcohol burn. Maybe some cherry or raspberry flavors for being 56% uh, alcohol by volume. It is not hard to drink. It's not a, it's not a bourbon flavor. The Gary Oak definitely gives this uh, more of a rye taste to it. And the, the finish on it is spicy like rye, but it's all malted barley, you know. So it's a, uh, it's, it's focused on the whole, let's make a, a, a Scottish whiskey with American influence. So the Gary Oak with the malted barley, 100%, and uh, 51 months maturation in the cask. So pretty nice dark color for 51 months. Not too bad at all. Um, it's not in the uh, hot zones of Texas or Tennessee or Kentucky. So it did a good job of getting some, some nice color that you wouldn't normally get with the scotch that's only in a bottle for three years. I'm really enjoying this. This is, this is like a... Uh, Scottish rye. <laughs> I get the, the barley and that, that, that malt taste, but it does give me that, that rye finish. So I'm very impressed again. Uh, Westland does a great job of experimenting. I guarantee that if you enjoy American whiskeys, try the Westland brand. They have something that you'll probably like, especially if you want to try a peated whiskey. Their peated is uh, fairly tame as far as peated whiskeys go and gives you that um, essence of peat without being overwhelming. So that wraps it for this uh, final episode in my uh, Goff Street apartment. Uh, when you see me next, I'll be in a new place. I have no idea what I'm going to do as far as setup. I don't know if I'll get my guitars hung up on the wall uh, right away or not. So I'm going to go do my final bit of packing and hope you're taking care of yourself still a crazy year 2020 this thing needs to be over with we need to we need to start fresh until the next episode thanks for watching and cheers now oh, what the hell there's more where that came from Okay, that was pretty high, but I didn't need to do that. Ouch. I'll pay for that later. <laughs>